Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today um, I'm going to cover um, BOT3303 plant morphology um, exam three study guide. Okay, so we will talk, talk about uh, three chapters, uh, three units, uh, which are 17, 18, 19. 17 is about seedless vascular plants, 18 about gymnosperms, and 19 about angiosperms. As you can see, 18 and 19 are seed plants, 17 is seedless plants. Okay, as always, um, study, in a, study well in advance. Do your flashcards, review them often, um, at least five times, uh, repeat, uh, um, and then make sure that actually you do your reading from the book. And when you're doing your reading, take extra notes and make connections. And then look at your lecture notes you know, and PowerPoints from the canvas, again, to see more connections between the concepts. Okay, and then always break down your studying into small chunks to maximize effectiveness. Okay, so we start with chapter 17, which is seedless vascular plants. They, these plants are very early plants, this, uh, one of the very early plants. They actually goes back to um, 420 million years ago. Okay, so uh, they they have vas uh, they have vascular tissue, but they don't have seeds. They have uh, some of them has fronds, spores, and now we start seeing dominant sporophyte. Okay, so we have um, we have uh, four uh, four phylums or divisions under uh, this uh, this group. One is club mosses, lycophyta. Second one is horsetails, spinophyta. Third one is vi uh, whisk ferns, silophyta. And fourth one is ferns, which is pterophyta. As you know, pterophyta ferns are the biggest group here, which 12,000 species under them. Um, club mosses are an early group, like lycophytes. Uh, they actually uh, they they are they are very simple plants compared to the other three groups, lycophytes, and there are some extinct uh, species under this group, phylums like Rhinophyta that's actually e extinct, and Cooksonia one uh, species specifically that's actually 420 million years of old that's also uh, one of the oldest known vascular uh, vascular plants fossils. Uh, second group is horsetails or Sipenophyta. Uh, horsetails actually, well, because they look like a horsetail, uh, they they are um, they are uh, they are mostly homosporous. There are only 15, uh, 15 species under this group. Okay, and they have rhizomes and and root systems. Um, they are um, they have strobilus, and that they have spores. They might be one to three meter tall. Third group is whisk ferns or silophyta. Uh, they are also very simplest living uh, vascular plants. There are only six, six living species under this group. So no true root leaf um, really exists here. They are all homospores. Um, the group four is ferns, the most well-known ones. And you see here um, the fern life cycle with a heart-shaped gametophyte and fronds. That, that's what their, their leaf look like and um, they're sporophyte, right? So they are called fern and fern allies, this whole group. So 18 is about gymnosperm, which is one of the most interesting uh, group. They are also called naked seeds. Um, they have four, uh, four phylums or divisions under this, conifers, cycads, ginkgo, and ginephytes. Okay, so conifers is one of the biggest group here, which is probably the biggest in gymnosperms, uh, conifera fida, Nearly all are evergreen uh, plants. Uh, we know them from their tallest plants like sequoias, uh, all those trees, uh, again in this group. Cycad, second group, which is a smaller group with just 200 species, very old uh, uh, div division or phylum, which we know a lot of these plants we see in Florida. Ginkgo, only one single species under this. Only one living species, deciduous plants with um, di dioecious uh, type of um, uh, morphology. And the last group is gynodophytes, which is 
they are actually they are one of the well-known um, genus is ephetra which makes uh, ephetrine uh, drug made from um, the ephetra it's a medicinal plant with 70 species um, so chapter 19 is about angiosperms remember we started at the beginning most of the time we talked about angiosperms and then now we are back to the angiosperms of flowering plants and flowers so you see here in this uh, picture a part of the flowers you need to be familiar with um, the four parts spsc stamen um, um, sepal pales um, stamen and carpel carpel is also known as pistil which is the female part of the flower which you see here in the middle which is made of stigma style ovary and ovule inside um, angiosperms is of course biggest group of, of plants uh, even though it has only two classes it has actually 250,000 species under this known species the phylum magnolia pida they are not only seed plants but they also have flowers and fruits fruit is something covers the seeds this is something different than gymnosperms which there is seed is not covered that's why gymnosperms are naked seeds in angiosperms, fruit covers the seeds. It may be exception of uh, strawberries, which are uh, basically the seeds are outside, around 200 seeds, which are not really covered. But most, most other angiosperms, seeds are covered. As you see here, a dicot seed, like a tomato seed here with embryo, dicot, and endosperm, and seed coat, testa. And we can see the radical, which is, the, which is going to be developed into a root system. Uh, and then this is their life cycle. Um, so make sure you uh, read about the flower types and um, the more about the flowers, fruits, and then ng angiosperm, uh, like soybean life cycle. Most of the uh, edible plants are under this group. So uh, this is pretty much all in, in um, for today. Thank you for watching and um, see you next time and happy studying.